Hello, now I know some of you are probably going to be triggered by the title of this video, but we'll get into that in a little bit. Something I've really come to realize actually by creating videos about notation software, I've gone through a lot of different pieces of software now, is there's a lot of brand loyalty. People are very, uh, I wouldn't say, I want to say avid, but I don't want to say that pun again, but they're very set on the, the notation software they use. And, you know, it's it's like Apple and Android. People are devoted to Apple no matter what they are Apple, while Android, you really have that huge clash. Anyway, I'm digressing. Why have I titled this video Sibelius, uh, the industry standard? Well, firstly, because I feel at least where I am and through my journey in writing music, Sibelius has always been there in the background, no matter what, when I first started using it, and that was probably about 15 years ago now, uh, back in school, they had, I think it was Sibelius 5 or 4, I can't remember now, uh, that I was trained on. My first ever compositions was done using Sibelius. And then as I progressed through that to my A-levels, again, I continued to use Sibelius. When I went on to do a degree, uh, I moved from England to Wales, and again, Sibelius was what my teachers and lecturers and professors used. It's what they recommended we have. They weren't opposed to us using other software, but everything they used was Sibelius. And they do have about a 30 year track record with this software. Not only that, uh, Pro Tools as well, which is another product by Avid, is very industry standard DAW. If you ever go into a recording studio, you will most likely see Pro Tools, especially the big ones. Uh, that is what they use. And I'm not the only composer saying, especially if you're going into the industry of mock-ups and film and media and you want to record, having a, fam a familiarity with Pro Tools is almost essential. And Another reason for that as well is Media Composer, which is an editing software. And the jobs I have done, the professional broadcast jobs, people edit using Media Composer and Pro Tools work side by side with Media Composer. So when I've been doing exports and stuff and working on the audio side and music side, having Pro Tools and using it is really essential and having just that ecosystem is I guess what I'm trying to get at here. I know this video is about Sibelius, but I'm trying to zoom out and look at the bigger picture as well and kind of explain why I've really titled this and feel that Sibelius is an industry standard. Even when I teach as well, Sibelius is kind of the format people send it in. Yeah, MuseScore, MuseScore as well as another one I see a lot, um, but other ones, especially nowadays, I really feel are coming up to par. Uh, especially with me moving now over to Dorico, but that really is my style of composition. And I'm going to say this now before we really get into the nitty gritty and review of Sibelius. I don't think there is a wrong choice. There are so many options out there. Sibelius, Dorico, Finale, uh, Notation 6, Staff Pad, MuseScore. There are so many, to list a few, pieces of notation software and really whatever works for you ultimately whatever's going to help you and inspire you to create music there is I feel no wrong choice there might be better options depending where you're going to end up um, but ultimately if it does the job or if it ain't broke don't fix it so let's really get into the nitty-gritty of Sibelius and my 15 years experience with it and that journey is really going to start with just how user friendly it is from the beginner to the pro. As I said, I started off probably 12 year old me using Sibelius and it's extremely user friendly. If we actually move into it, uh, this is a score just I've, I've done a long time ago. I think it really does demonstrate what you can do with Sibelius. But I love this little panel, this little keypad here where you can drag around and here's your notes and everything's in there. The little basics that, that you kind of need for notation and I don't know, it kind of reminds me, I know this is an older one, this is the 2020 version of Sibelius. I, I just paid a one-time fee when I was a student, 250 quid, uh, and I have it forever. And so I feel no need to upgrade because if it ain't broke, as I said, don't fix it. Uh, and as you can see at the beginning, I've got this whole bit explaining the piece, the piece itself, uh, little bits and bobs. It's just very easy to get what you want. And if you hold a note, go Command T, right click, you have other little bits of techniques that you need to note. The dynamics are really easy. Uh, you've got lines here, 
clef, key signature, time signature, no input. It's just, it feels like, you know, Microsoft, you probably heard of Microsoft Word and Excel, but you know, just the basics that everybody kind of knows. It just feels really, really user-friendly and easy to use. And there's a couple of other really nice features like you can retrograde stuff, invert, double. So you can really go from this basic to complex. I use this as a 12 year old learning and I used it in my degree to do more advanced stuff. Um, although saying this, if we jump back over to the internet, I must say there is a free version. There is an artist version, which you can have up to six instruments, 16 instruments, sorry. Sibelius first, I know that they really should put it here. You can only have up to four, which I really don't like. I know it's free, but having four instruments is so limiting, especially when a competitor like Dorico, you can use up to eight in the free version. So it's a little bit like, hmm, you, you could do with a couple more. And I'm sure it used to be more than four. Actually, I'm trying to think. I don't even think they had a free one a long time ago. And you can have a free trial on like the Ultimate. And the Ultimate, uh, it is pricey. So a perpetual license is 519 uh, outright uh, if you're getting it without any discounts. I think with the student discount, you get about 50% off. As I said, when I got mine, it was about the £250 mark, which is not bad. And if you're coming over from other softwares like Dorico Notation 6 Finale, there's discounts. Uh, and I think the other companies do vice versa. If you own Sibelius or want to go over to a different software, um, they do discounts for cheating on your old notation software, which is hilarious. There you go, £259 for a perpetual educational license. You can get it while you're a student, own it forever, and cost you 50%, which is really, really, really cool. Um, but subsequently after your plan, you don't get updates as well, uh, which is why mine's completely out of date, but it still works. But even with older versions like myself, what I do like about something that Sibelius does do, if we go to the actual file and if we want to export something, there's plenty of options. There's video. I hate using video with Sibelius. That's definitely a con with this. You can do PDF. You can do music XML if you're trying to transfer it between different softwares, MIDI, and previous version. I feel this is extremely important um, because like when I'm teaching, if people have a newer version, they just need to export a previous version and I can open it up. Uh, the same when I was in university, a lot of the lecturers had probably Sibelius 7 or Sibelius 6 and you know they told us export a previous version. So even within the ecosystem, it's really nice. There's also manuscript paper as well. Um, but a lot of features I feel that you get with the ultimate, they don't include with like first. For example, I think looping, you can't do that. Uh, and guitar tabs as well with like Sibelius first and artist aren't really as good and you don't have as much options for notation um, as you do with the ultimate uh, really which I feel really should be included in lower versions if you really want the full breakdown um, they do actually give you a really nice uh, breakdown on the comparison uh, here Oh, and there's also a, a mobile version which you can use on like an iPad or something. So I'll leave links in the description. You can ultimately see the comparison. We will talk about some of these things and you can see the full comparison and details there. If you want to get into the nitty gritty, we're not going to talk too much. I'm just doing basic stuff. As you can see here, what I was talking actually about the um, whole tabs and barring. Uh, and speaking of which, with the way the bars and staffing and actually setting up your score, Sibelius, out of all the softwares I've used, I feel is almost the easiest. Dorico, I'm not finding too many problems, but I'm not doing anything complex at the moment. Finale, I feel it's not as easy, although you can almost get better looking scores in software like Finale. But moving on to at least what I feel is a con, some people might call this a pro, is this whole idea of Sibelius sounds and samples that are included. Now with the free version, you're only getting general MIDI on the mobile 900 megabytes, while with the pro, 36 gigabytes, that's a lot. That is a ton, and it's the reason why I bought a piece of software called Note Performer. You might have seen my video on that, which is basically what they call AI. It's what it says on the website, um, and make this better sound, better playback, which is what I use in Sibelius, because it does sound better than Sibelius sounds, and it's at the fraction of the size, because 36 gigabytes is a lot, and it doesn't sound the best, but there is a ton 
a ton of instruments and different bits in there. But ultimately, you're only really needing the playback for reference because this you can ultimately print out and have people perform it or stick it into a DAW and do mock-ups. But then if you're doing that sort of thing, Dorico might be better because you can have the gorgeous looking score like this, but still add your VSTs and do expression mapping and work with that. So you have the best of both worlds. Um, Sibelius kind of sits towards the side of just notation and more traditional composition, while Dorico, I feel, is a hybrid uh, between this notation and a DAW where you're producing music. Um, Finale is kind of similar to, uh, I feel, Sibelius, just kind of a more gorgeous looking scores, at least from experience. And then MuseScore 4 is like the free version. It's the um, brand the non-branded version of notation software. <laughs> That's a basic breakdown of at least some of the major notation softwares out there that I've messed with. Back to this whole idea of sounds, especially now with MuseScore 4 coming out with Muse sounds, they sound better than Sibelius sounds, again, at the fraction of the size. So it can be a bit gimmicky, but that being said, if we go to the playback and we go to configure up here, that with Ultimate, you get Sibelius 7 Sounds Lite, it's Jazz, of course, General MIDI Basic, which you never use, Sibelius Sounds Chamber, and Sibelius 7 Sounds, probably is later versions of these, but you get not just one playback, you get multiple different playbacks, depending on the style of composition you're doing within your notation software. So you've got that advantage as well. So if you're wondering how Sibelius actually sounds, this, I guess, it's a bit of a, a tonal score, so it's not even more your traditional, but this is how the strings at least sound. And what's funny actually, I know I'm using Ultimate and I was saying who uses four instruments, but this is a string quartet, so. <laughs> so that's a little flavor of at least what and how Sibelius sounds sounds like. But overall, if I was to summarize Sibelius, uh, and if there's, if there's any part of the video you're gonna watch, it's this bit. Uh, in the pros, it's an industry standard. Everybody uses it, especially, I guess, the old timers, uh, I wanna say. And nowadays, I'm finding, especially with the younger generation, there's a lot more uh, variety in notation software. But at least back when I was studying uh, and throughout my education process, Sibelius was a must it was just what everybody used it's why i have it it's because it's what everybody used and it's solid i've never in 15 years had any really problem with the software it's not really crashed now and then there's little bugs which is to be expected uh secondly just user friendly from beginner to end i uh, i really just like how easy it is to connect my keyboard uh how easy it just functions and works as a whole and to edit my score and work within it, it it's just it's easy, it's user friendly. Yes, you can now get it on iPad and transfer it to different devices and this, that, and the other, but I guess, you know, there's other companies that do that now. The Sibelius sounds, not my favorite. I prefer Note Performer. I see that more as a con, especially with it being like 36 gigabytes. It's quite a hefty piece of software that, as you heard, sounds okay, it does the job. Is it the best? I'll let you decide. There are other options out there, but ultimately I my advice would be try them all. What's one in one, there's another button for another uh, and you can work your head around it quite quickly. But ultimately with all notation softwares, you're not gonna go wrong. They're all getting to a pretty good standard. Some are more reliable than others, like MuseScore, it being free, I have noticed it's a bit more crashy. It's not as solid. Things can be a bit laggy, while with Sibelius it's quite solid. Uh, Dorico is very solid actually, especially with VSTs, they load very quickly and work very well within it. Um, but you can watch my video I did on Dorico, uh, I'll leave a link in the description. But I hope this has helped, I know this has kind of been a, a little bit of a weird review on Sibelius. Um, not your standard one, but I try not to create standard videos, I hope this has at least helped you. Um, but thank you so much for watching, I'll see you in the next video.